The main exit is sealed. I very much doubt you can get through there. The catwalk above you is connected to a corridor meant for transporting materials. You can take that to the elevator. Follow the catwalk straight ahead to reach the elevator. My apologies, Raiden. I seem to have fallen behind. No worries. Actually, I should thank you. What are you talking about? If it wasn't for you, I wouldn't have gotten Jack back. Then, that is your true nature. More or less. Still interested? I find no reason to alter my objectives. From the moment we met, 
You have acted on emotional urges. You speak of protecting those weaker than you. Such people number in the billions. It is impossible. You cannot save every human being in the world. You cannot save every street child. After extended observation, I have come to a conclusion. Your actions are rooted in affinity for those from similar circumstances as yours. Huh. Guess so. Not much of a superhero after all, huh? However, your emotional status is understandable. Perhaps I share this same affinity. Well, if that's what you feel, then glad to have you along. Roger. You can reach the server room via the freight elevator just ahead.
Zug abreiten. Another Freight Platform. Look out! Incoming! <lacht> from the top floor to the freight elevators. Your path to the server room leads right through them. Let's <laughs> go. 
The server rooms ahead? Yes, according to what I have here. What should I expect to find? If they're VR training those brains, I'm guessing it won't look like your typical IT department. Quite right. Most of it will likely be occupied by life support units. Feeding oxygen and nutrition to the brains they have stored, you know. They would also need a server to feed them the VR data, but in terms of structure, it's really more brain storage and maintenance than a server room. But no doubt it makes a convenient euphemism for what they are really doing there. Yeah, like how CIA agents refer to where they work as the company. Indeed. Something like that would never arouse the suspicions of rank-and-file staff who may hear it. And I'm sure those complicit in this operation feel better not calling it the VR training room. Even something so simple as a name can help one ignore the truth of what they are doing. Truly fascinating how the human brain works. So this, whatever room, that's where Sundowner's waiting, right? If he wants a fight, I wish he'd just get on with it. He didn't seem the type to run and hide. Well, he is in charge of security, but I suspect this is not about business. If I had to guess, I would say he is toying with you, testing you, perhaps. Whatever he's doing, it won't change what's going to happen once I finally catch up with him. If I had to guess, slightly controlled by an AI. What? Raiden? No! No! If I had to get lightly controlled by an AI. <laughs> Let's <laughs> go. 
and the spare monsoon? Well, if it's AI controlled, it should pose no problem for you, yes? <laughs> Disrupt the students while class is in session. I believe you're familiar with the lesson plan. The same regimen you went through in Liberia. Effective program. Just look how you turned out. Of course, running it in the real world just got a bit too complicated. Doing it virtually, though? No fuss, no muss. Straight to the brain. It's like a dream. Well, maybe dream is the wrong word. They do kill some POWs, some civilians. <laughs> they enjoy it, though. We give their pleasure centers a nice big jolt every time. <laughs> Plus, they get a shiny new body as a graduation present. Another thing you have in common. I chose this. They're kids, you son of a bitch. And kids are cruel. All people are by nature. They just lose touch with it as they get older. Start thinking they know right and wrong. That's immoral. War crime this, code of conduct that. Kids, you can mold. Manipulated to performing all kinds of atrocities. And there's nothing like a good atrocity to keep a war going. That's why I'm shutting you down. You just don't see the bigger picture, do you? Say you bring this whole place down. Waltz out of the rubble with all these precious brains. Nothing changes. All the guys in charge are gone gone. We've got offices around the world. We're just suppliers. We don't create the market for war. And who does? The Patriots are gone. <laughs> Those guys just managed the war economy. They didn't invent it. Did you think every battle in history was all part of some big old conspiracy? Bullshit! War is just part of who we are. 
Why fight it? Anyway, none of this will matter in three hours. Demand for PMCs is about to skyrocket. Like the good old days after 9-11. What are you talking about? Not here. Follow me. Raiden, get Sundowner. Do not lose him this time. in the merchandise. What happens in three hours? <laughs> Don't matter. You're too late. Even at Mach 2, you wouldn't make it. And killing you is gonna take some time. Slow and painful. so it does not detonate. If you can only hit the right spot with your blade, maybe you can drop his guard. Yeah! <laughs> 
Rita! 
Shaving? I've taken Marshal HQ. Yeah, yeah. I have just entered Denver airspace. I will be there soon. Hurry! Dryden, what Sundowner said. I know. Anything that'll rival 9-11 cannot be good. And in three hours, maybe less. He said even Mac 2 could not get there in time. If he was serious, that's over 4,000 miles away. 4,500. So whatever it is, it's not happening on American soil. If it's gonna spike demand for PMCs, it's gotta be a political hotspot. A coup or civil war in a stable region wouldn't have a domino effect. And they'd want to draw in a superpower. No. What? The president. He's on his way to Pakistan. If something happens to him there... Oh, shit. The war on terror part two. Contact the military. Official generals are frozen since Mexico. Unofficial generals would take too long. Besides, what's our proof? Who's gonna believe us over World Marshal? Then we have to get there first. Nevazmuzhna! Impossible! It is the other side of the planet. Even if we were in the world's fastest jet right now, it's not even close. Hold up. It's not a jet we need. Courtney? An RLV would make it with time to spare. Hmm. That's... Mach 23, if we're talking one atmosphere. 17,650 miles per hour. That would make Pakistan in under half an hour. Right. Contact Solis.
set to go, sir. Excellent. Commencing takeoff in semi-auto mode. You know, this kind of space launch once required days of preparation. Solus has been conducting test flights almost every day for the last six months. As long as we're not breaking atmosphere, they said they can reroute today's flight no problem. Amazing! The Earth is the cradle of humanity, but mankind cannot stay in the cradle forever. <laughs> I'm only going as far as the thermosphere. This thing can't pass the Carmen line. That lunar vacation will just have to wait. And here I was hoping you might bring me back a monolith. Scheiße! Two bogies closing fast! Is it? Who else? The flight pattern suggests unmanned MQ-320s. Shit. This is a transport chopper. Our defensive options are limited. Missiles incoming! Take out the drone! Here they come! I'll handle this. Right Have a nice flight. And people say Germans aren't funny. Sacrifice will not be forgotten. That was quite the fall, Raiden. I'm glad to see that you are alright. It's time you got out of Denver. Enemy sighted! <laughs> Let's <laughs> go. <laughs> 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 
Are you all right? I can handle this. You just get those brains out of here. And what will you do? Get out of here and to the launch site. Ah, the young ladies' company, yeah? How fortunate they are in Colorado, too. Yeah. Shouldn't take more than two hours with a set of wheels. Guess I'll just have to borrow some. A lot of cars got abandoned when the evac order came down. But won't the roads be blocked? If you are struck by one of those missiles, or... I know. Let me just worry about putting some distance between me and World Marshal. What's left of it? <laughs> 